Hi, I hope you're having a great day and I've got a really cool announcement to make. These posts on social media, we actually want to try something a little bit new. Uh, moving forward, we would actually love to share the verses that really speak to me and Im are important for me to hopefully inspire you in your faith walk with God. And so each video now, we're going to be opening up with the verse of the day. And today, I want to talk about Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Now look, I want you to know that God does have a plan for each and every one of us. And when I was born, I'm sure that my parents can't even describe in words how they really felt when they saw their limbless son being born. How could God ever use a man without arms and legs to be his hands and feet? How could God ever use a shepherd boy, David, to be king? Well, I just want you to know that no matter who you are and no matter where, where you are, what you're going through, what struggles you've experienced, God has a wonderful plan for you and he can take your broken pieces and do something beautiful in your life. You know, as I've gone around the world, um, I, I, I have met one person who's looking for hope, love, joy, and peace. And even though at times we don't see or feel that there is a hope for our life, and even for me at age 10, to a point of trying to commit suicide, I never thought that a loving God really had a plan for me. But guess what? He did. And as I took one step at a time saying, God, if you do have a plan for me, I want to know what your plan is. I don't want my plan. I want your plan. I don't want to live in my strength. I want your strength. Not the best future I can think of, but God, what's the future that you have for me? And I just hope that my smile and my life story can encourage you to know that God has a plan for you. If God can use a man without arms and legs to be his hands and feet, then God can certainly use any willing heart. I love you so much. Check it out and maybe even memorize this one. Jeremiah 29, 11.